All right, guys, so I'm getting some stuff put in the truck. Uh, I got my bow case, bow, all of my clothes are in my bow case. That's normally how I do that in that Lakewood case. I don't take a whole lot of clothes, so there you go. Maybe once I get to New Mexico, I'll kind of show you what I got packed. I got my camera right there. I got my pack that I'm gonna hunt in every day here. It's not a very big pack. This is my this is my big frame pack that I put all my my meat and stuff in. Uh, I got my sneeze boots. And if those boots could talk, they got some miles on them, I tell you. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna run all this stuff over to uh to mom and dad's. I'm gonna get it put in this truck. I'm gonna go get the some ice in the cooler so I can get everything and get everything filled up in it. And we'll be back in a little bit. Elk season. 2021, baby. All right, we got the bike loaded up. Oh, don't get me. <laughs> I won't. Got all the gear in Dad's truck. One bow, both of my backpacks. And we got, let's see if I can get this open. Another bow, cooler, groceries camera elk season 2021 baby we are ready to roll so i'll take y'all with us follow along crossing the mississippi river big muddy Oh, it's pretty full. Uh, is it? I was thinking it was full. Yeah. Leaving Tennessee and coming into Arkansas. Me and Dad traveling. We left about 4 o'clock. Train over there. This bridge has been shut down, but they just reopened it. No, not this one. Was it not this one? It was this one? No, it was the one up there by the beer bed on the floor. Oh, okay. I thought it was this one. <laughs> we headed out. We'll be turning west here in a little bit. Pretty cool rig there. You can tell, uh, you can tell hunting seasons here. Getting here when you, when you start seeing stuff like this, so. Pretty dang sharp. I like it. Alright, so we uh we stopped at a big loves truck stop. It's hard to beat loves. We uh we north of Memphis somewhere. I don't know, somewhere somewhere up here, just driving on 40 headed west. So uh I'll try to keep making a few videos and Truck's riding good. Everything's solid. Rolling on. All right, so we're rolling west on 40. There's the big lit up bridge. Obviously, it's not lit up because it's not night, but pretty cool. Oklahoma City. We got five more hours and we'll be in two couple cars in New Mexico. We made good time though, so far. Yeah, we made great time. I took a little nap. I drove, then I took a little nap. Now Dad's just riding. It's hot. 91 degrees here, I hope it's, it's gonna cool off soon enough though. But we traveling, headed west on 40. <laughs> Look out of it. Look out of it. <laughs> the windmills about 190 miles from Amarillo, Texas
cool place. We've stopped here a bunch, bunch, bunch. A lot of country. Sure enough, be a lot of country if you was riding a horse across it. We're getting there, getting closer. We'll be in two Kumkari by, by six o'clock our time. Get some supper and some rest. I've seen it a lot greener than what it is right now. San Angelo, Texas. Pretty neat place. Some tough people right there. Colonel Charles Goodnight, J.A. Ranch. Stuff like this is so cool. If you got time when you when you uh when you take a trip, man, it's just it's always awesome to take time to look at stuff like this. A season of black rain. During the Great Depression, the Panhandle was hit by one of the worst droughts on record. Especially in regard to conservation of water. In addition to drought-resistant grasses and plant material, Pretty neat. includes a state-of-the-art water conservation technique called a biomembrane reactor sewage All right, I'll be back. We're in two come car. Yep. Lizard. We're hungry. Been on the road since four o'clock this morning. This pretty neat place. Pretty cool. All right, so we came to a Mexican joint. I got Mexican, and Dad got turkey. <laughs> Of all things. Safety. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that, long, that looks safe. <laughs> it looks good, though. Oh, I like it's the good. gravy. It's got, it's got mixed beans, dude. Mine's going to be real good. All right, we're going to eat. It's, it's got good. Mexican beans. Taste of it. What is that? Is that like a gravy biscuit? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mashed mm -hmm. potatoes. Mm -hmm. That's person. potatoes. Yeah. What is that? You just ate. I don't know. Huh? Delicious though. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a cool place. Pretty cool. I'm full as a tick. I'd like to have one of those. Come out here and hunt on it and ride. A lot of them are BMWs. Huh? Trump. They're both Trump. Hmm. All right, so we got full. Those BMWs and uh, the other one, that other one. You can't hardly hear them run. They'll run on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're in Tucumcari. We're going to go get us a hotel room. And head, get some rest, and be ready to go tomorrow. It's pretty cool there. About as slick as it gets. I wish I had mine back. And Daddy had one just like it. Was your fuel tank there like that? No. It's pretty sharp right there. Good looking. I like him wheels. 
smells good. He's got racing fuel in it. You can smell it. Yeah. Two come car in New Mexico. Been driving, let's see. Four o'clock, four o'clock, 12, 13, 14, about 15 hours we've been up anyway. Hadn't drove that long, but close. got done eating ate a ate at a cool little restaurant and uh we're at a holiday inn express i'm gonna get this bike off of here uh, because we do not need to leave it outside so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get everything off it and unhook let me see if i can put y'all right there get it all unhooked We're gonna get in here and try to get a little rest. Uh, I know the hurricane made a landfall today, so I hope everybody's been been good there. I know all of all of our crew's been been good. I've kind of been in kind of been in contact with them. So anyway, gonna get the bike off and uh, get headed in here. I'm about ready to uh, take a shower, get get uh, cleaned up. We had a good meal a while ago. That was a I think it was called powwows that was a really really neat little uh restaurant you know when we make these trips like this it's kind of one thing with uh with a dad and i you you like to go to different places uh see some different stuff the people and of course y'all all travel but man the the uh people uh out, out here are just super super cool so i'm gonna see if i can get this old heavy bike off of here and uh I'll probably do a little bit more video and once I get inside, but we'll see y'all in a little bit. It's been a good day. Elk season, baby, 2021. All right, dad got us checked in. He said, reckon you'll, they'll let you take the bike in? He can sleep out here with the bike. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they're gonna let us take it in. If I can get it in the elevator, I ain't got $6,000 to get one this is a owens outfitters jd owens bike too by the way <laughs> yeah. i ain't got enough money to buy a bike like this if i can get to about ten thousand subscribers if y'all will subscribe i'll be able to get one so we're gonna go in here and get checked in see we just walked right by them like we've done it before it wasn't why it by them it was just by the one there's two of them there they won't tell you no if you act like you've done it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Look, one of the main important things right there for an elk hunt. Right there. If you're not, if you're not using wet wipes, you're fooling yourself. What room? I don't know. 238. So 4-2. Uh-oh, it's the white button. There you go. Ainsley don't like elevators. She don't? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> she just when don't. When it moves, she's confused. Yeah, she don't sick. like it. Nice choice of carpet. It's kind of psychedelic. psychedelic. Yeah. Two what? Three eight. All the way down here on the end. I'll let you go so you can open the door. If it's stairs, go down the stairs or that thing. I think I'd rather do 
just run the elevator. I'm gonna get enough stairs. All right, we're going in. Let me get this thing. All right, so I got my phone charger. I'll go back out here and get it. Then I'm gonna get upstairs. I'm gonna get my tail a shower and I'm gonna get some some rest, man. Like I said, we have been we have been on the road. I picked that up, as y'all saw in the video, at 3.40 this morning, 3.45. So we've been rolling. We really hadn't let up a whole lot either. I mean, we have just been nonstop. So we're gonna get something to eat. Then tomorrow, we got a few things we gotta do. We gotta get our some groceries. Uh, I actually have a buddy that uh that i met out here about 10 years ago uh so we're gonna go by and see him uh where he works and got a few groceries to get some water and some stuff like that and then we will be headed up the mountain so i'm gonna try to put all this video today just on one video it's probably not gonna be a lot but it's just kind of the trip, you know, the trip, the, the trip's kind of my funnest part, like the road trip, but lots of times it's not a lot of stuff to see. Anyway, we'll do this and then we'll go up the mountain tomorrow. Uh, we'll go check some cameras tomorrow. Whenever dad came out end of July, uh, he put three cameras out. So I hope <laughs> that the cards are put in them correct and and uh, he cut them on and all that. Maybe we'll get some some pictures of some uh, some big bull elk. So, all right, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my phone charger. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate you following the Fanchers. Make sure you uh, you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. Out of here.